I was educated at art school in the very early 70s and I work in a quite a formal way to begin with. You know, I t play with objects and architecture and I kind of look at the architecture and work out how its structure's put together and what could be done and can you tamper with it, etc. And look for those kind of quirky moments. And I came down here and you can't help but, you know, remind yourself that you come down to the very limit of land and then you hit water and you look out at the water and it meets the sky. It's all about the edges of things, you know, where one thing meets another. And I started thinking about the architecture here, this iconic building. And, you know, it's made up of a sum of parts, of floors and walls, etc. But I was just looking at all the edges, like that edge out there. That whole sort of lovely story that when you get to that edge, you drop off it. And I kind of looked up at the corners and I, th I thought, we need to make someone look at this building in a, in a different way. We need to put something on it or beside it or whatever. And it was through that that I slowly came to the idea of putting a coach up there. Not just any coach, but the coach to do with the Italian job. And that was fired off by things like thinking, you know, what we really need is a cliffhanger of a work. We need some structural daring thing there, balanced, like the coach in the film. And that would draw people's attention to it. And then I thought, well, actually, why not just put the coach up there? And I came to that conclusion when it was discovered that we were being umbrellaed into the Cultural Olympiad project as a regional project, which meant, you know, this was a Cultural Olympiad project that was a flag-waving piece for our you know, our team um, in the UK. And I started to think about the Italian job coach as being a flag-waving piece. It's, it's a red, white and blue coloured coach. And it seemed to be like the perfect Bexhill Union Jack. And then the other thing that which is quite handy was this idea that in 1969, when the film was made, it was about this mob, you know, Charlie Croker's mob, who were going to go off and rob the gold bullion from the Fiat factory and bring it back to the UK. And I thought, well, they were going for gold like our Olympiads are going for gold. There's all those lovely little moments that connected. But it was also the, the notion of the structural daring, the teasing of my audience and them going, oh, my God, it's moving. But it's also that sort of thing about the limits of things as well. You know, if you went too far, what does that mean? And it's about, you know, like how people play with ideas. So sculptors play with ideas, you know, working things out. Some things are good, some things are bad. You're right on the edge of how things can be successful. Um, so, you, you know, it's really a case of finding all these notions that help me focus down to it being, take a coach, and put it on the roof, and play out on the iconic building, this iconic cinematic moment that's kind of inbred in British psyche. We all know about it. And we all know it's a sleight of hand, it's a trick. But at the same time, you know, we can do that and we can get people gasping. And also, there's a, it was never intended, but there's always a kind of element of humour in a lot of the work that I produce. And I think that has also endeared it to my audience here and, and nationally, that they know the film, it's a laugh, let's go and look at it, it's something that's easily recognised. You don't really need to have an art grammar to kind of get it, you know what I mean, and think, my God, I'm looking at something extraordinary.